y'all my edge is a mess we're about to do some of this right here um and we're just about to get cute and we're about to have fun and i think i'm gonna do like my everyday baddie makeup so you know because i used to do b faces every day um just because you know that's just who i am but lately i haven't been able to do that because of everything that i have going on so look y'all see me pulling out my hair bag this is my bag of hair if this camera falls oh lord because this, this setup i have is very dangerous so hopefully my camera doesn't fall break but this is my hair bag and i'm about to try to lay my edges on camera um I have like 4C, 4B hair, so my edges don't be doing all them Pinterest swoops. It is hard for me to get my edges to lay down, so yeah, <clears throat> just bear with me. Since I can't even use like edge control, I have to use got to be. Otherwise, <laughs> hair's not going anywhere. It's not gonna stay, trust me. thing I've done ever in my life um this is why I don't try to do baby hairs because my hair doesn't lay down um it's just a disaster um wow so I'm depressed but moving on so I'm gonna outline both of my brows with this pencil and then I'm going to fill it in with some powder and I'll be back Normally, when I start my makeup, I like to use the um, Too Faced Hangover Primer, but I ran out. So I'm skipping that step, but I am gonna go in with this MAC Strobe Cream. And this just kind of gives your skin like a, a glow, kind of, before your makeup. And it'll show up through your foundation. So, I'm not gonna put on foundation because I want this, I wanna show y'all like what I actually do like every day. So I was thinking like, oh, this is YouTube, you know, should I just go ahead and do full face? No, because this is my everyday baddie beat makeup. And I don't wear foundation every day because you don't need it. Like I realized, um, you know, Honestly, you can beat your face like we all have like a pattern like, you know the trend of What to do Nowadays like the steps to do makeup, you know, you do foundation you do your concealer highlight contour all that and at the end It can end up being a lot especially if you're doing it every day and so I started, I was like, when I first got my lash extensions, I was like, you know, I can't wear like top liner anymore. And that, well, I can, but I don't because it doesn't really agree with my lash extensions. So um, I was like, I'm going to just start doing like minimal to my face because that's part of the reason I got lash extensions because I just got tired and I want to look cute without having to do the most. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get lash extensions so I can wake up and go. So when I started doing that, I just started cutting out steps and I was like, wow, like I should have been doing this. Okay, so I just concealed my dark spot acne scars. Um, now I'm gonna conceal my dark circles with Fawn. So I'm not highlighting right now, I'm just feeling like trying to cover them up so that they don't shine through when I do highlight and I also have been using my beauty blender dry um, because I found that it controls the product more it kind of keeps the product where you put it instead of like moving it around so much 
Now that we have concealed, I'm gonna go in with my highlighting concealer in Cool Tan. And, ooh, that was a lot. And I'm gonna go pretty generous with this under my eyes. And the key to um, concealing under your eyes, I have found one, the closer you get to your skin tone, the more concealer you can use without looking crazy. So if I were to use this concealer, which is very, very light, I would want to do a lot less. But since this is closer to my skin tone, I can do more. Also, when you put on this LA Girl concealer, you want to kind of let it sit there because then the product kind of dries where you put it and when you try to blend it, it'll stay in the same spot and it'll show up better, blend better, all that. Fancy Beauty contour stick, draw a little line. Contour sticks are life. Contour that nose, like I really feel like a part of beating your face, you have to snatch your, well you don't have to, but I feel like a snatch nose like really can take you from you know, baddie to baddie -er. So, I'm gonna start by blending out my contour because I want my highlight to bake a little bit more. I'm also gonna be taking a small brush so I can control my contour. And I want my cheekbones to be prominent, you see? That's where you wanna contour. And since my eyelash extensions are being annoying, I'm probably gonna say screw it and just throw on some lashes on top of them because I feel like they had their run. So beating your face is all about control. You need to control where you put your product. Um, because you're trying to make your face look how you want it to look. If you want strong cheekbones, you gotta give yourself strong cheekbones. I have a very round face. So I like to really contour, like really. Um, you know, cause that's just how I want my makeup to be. Um, yeah, so after I contour my cheeks, we're gonna go ahead and start blending out this concealer. When you blend your concealer, you wanna kinda take it in towards your nose contour cause it makes it look more realistic. You see how it's kinda just patting in because my sponge is dry and I let it start to set on my face. So it's not really moving, it's just blending right where I put it. See how easy that was to blend out? Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. This is nothing but a knockoff Ben Nye Banana Powder. I get it from Ulta for $7. Yes, ma'am. Um, baking with that, and I set with this 
black radiance soft focus finishing this is the best contour ever um while this bakes i don't want to let it to let it bake too long because then things just get out of hand i'm going to go ahead and start on my eyeshadow um for the eyeshadow i'm going to zoom y'all in a bit because um you know i want y'all to see what's going on because i don't even know what's going on but I really don't know where this is gonna go, so we're just gonna bear with each other. Um, going in my It's My Ray Ray. This is my favorite palette ever that I've ever had. But I think that's about to change because I plan on getting the Morphe 39A. Like, I want that palette so bad. Um, but anyway, this is just the orange. Orange is like my go-to color for um, eyeshadow and blush just because it goes with my skin tone really well. It's easy to blend and it always looks good like with everything no matter what the occasion. doesn't matter if it's summer, winter. Definitely in the summer but even in the winter like it's good to have a nice warm wash of color. Orange is just, it's bold enough but it's not too bold. You get what I'm saying? So like for every day if I want to do be cute, like a simple beat, which is what this video is, I would take an orange like this and just blend it in my crease. Honestly, and that would probably be it. Um, not gonna lie. So that's all I'm gonna do. What else? Is that it? yeah that's pretty much it oh and i do also go in with the little it's like a it's called control freak you see i use okay we're all good okay so this color right here is called control freak i use the crap out of it it's really just kind of like a darker orange darker orangish brown that's like the best color to me and i'll probably just put that in the crease to deepen it up but that's it um nothing major on the shadow so now time to blend so i'm gonna take my mac powder and this is nc44.5 i'm gonna give her a little swirl and then we're just gonna dust away all that powder go back in this palette and we're just gonna do a little bit of that same brown that we use on our eye we're gonna put it above under our eye um now that I have succeeded in looking dead I'm gonna try or a bad idea this is probably a really bad idea but i'm gonna put some lashes on them because this is making me so mad my lashes look a mess and i've just i've had it i haven't put on lashes in literally weeks so i'm kind of having like withdrawals um, i'm about to spray my face Um, I'm gonna line my lip. 
Okay, so now I'm about to put on these lashes and I will be right back. So I'm gonna be putting on some Estee Louder lipstick. Fun fact, I used to work for Estee Louder. Yes, I know it's Estee Louder. But she's Lulu got me saying louder, so. Because we loud, you feel me? Okay, spray, highlight. Okay, um, for highlighter, I'm gonna be taking my Bretman Rock highlighting palette. This is lit. And I'm gonna be mixing Chi Chu, which is her, and Shady B, which is her. Yes! Oh, <laughs> who, me, that's who, period. Okay, hold on. Let's take this off. Y'all, my edges are a mess, I already know. I'm not even happy about this. Ooh, oh my god, are you serious? Okay, <laughs> let's just ignore that. So we're gonna act like edges aren't even a thing, okay? Okay, thanks. Ooh. Okay, so this is the finished makeup. Um, I really, really like it. It feels really refreshing to have on lashes again. Um, yeah, girl, I'm about to go take some pictures, probably post on the gram, do a little something, something like that. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Makes me very happy. Leave a comment, criticism, questions, all that good stuff. Um, hopefully, I will try to list the products I use. If I don't, I apologize. Just ask me in the comments and I will answer. And video request, things of that nature. You can go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. And subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all so much for watching and bye-bye.